Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And I've been waiting for two years to say this. Welcome back to the Plasma Athletic Center at Turnstone in Fort Wayne, Indiana. For Power Soccer Shop, I'm Tony Jackson, and we are coming to you live for the 2022 U.S. Power Soccer MK Battery Champ Conference Cup Championship Series. I personally am extremely excited to be back here this weekend. It's been a long time coming. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic put everything on hold since 2020. We have been away since then. We are back now. I'm excited. 36 teams will be here this weekend. We are all excited to be here. We are looking forward to playing Power Soccer for the next four days. And I personally, on behalf of Power Soccer Shop, am excited to bring it to you all. We are about to get started here. Our first game to kick everything off, California LASC versus RHI Inferno from the Founders Conference. Let's begin, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Joining me right now, I have a very special guest from the LA Galaxy Power Soccer Club and the U.S. Power Soccer Association president, Steve Everett. Thank you for joining me in the broadcast booth. Thank you, Tony. I'm super excited about today, and this whole weekend is going to be awesome. Um, we got uh, 266 athletes uh, participating in this event. 114 games we're going to be playing throughout, so it's uh, super excited to be back and look at look at the faces of all the people that uh, have been away for these two years. You can see the excitement building, and uh, I'm just an honor to be here next to you and, and, and witnessing this back again, getting us back on the court. And, you know, talking to everybody, you could really feel the excitement in here, right? Everybody has been anticipating this moment since 2020. Everybody has been waiting to get back on the court at a national level. People have been competing locally and regionally, but this is the first national tournament since 2019. And, and again, just talking to everybody, you could feel the excitement. You could see everybody was ready to go. I'm excited. Yes, and, and you know, I, even the officials, I mean, they, they're, they're excited to be back. They're excited to witness everything that's going to be happening this weekend. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to some great competition. So we are about to get started here in just a few moments. Again, if you're just joining us, California LASC against RHI Inferno from the Founders Conference. It is the fourth of four divisions here in U.S. Power Soccer. One of these teams will potentially be moving up to the President's Conference next season. We'll see how the action unfolds throughout the weekend. Working to get situated here, trying to figure out who everybody is. You know, one more thing before we get started, Steve, that I'm really excited about is although Power Soccer on a national level has been away for two years, teams have still been practicing and playing locally off and on since at least last year. And the exciting thing about that is there are a lot of new players at Nationals this year that we have never seen before. You and I have been here for over a decade. Yep. And there are a lot of new people that neither one of us have ever seen before. Absolutely. You know, and it's amazing, too, because, you know, when, when there is uh, the lack of playing and, and uh, vi visibility of the sport, it's kind of hard to recruit players. But I think it's been incredibly exciting just to see that the word of mouth and people still out there trying to encourage people to come out and give it a shot um, and, you know, Look, once you're in the chair strapped in, it, it speaks volumes, right? And so, yeah, it, it is really nice to see new faces for sure. I'm excited. And, you know, the, the great thing about new faces is that you always find somebody new that's so skilled and talented. And I'm looking forward to seeing who that's going to be revealed as this weekend. Indeed. Yes. And it looks like we're just about ready to go. So I'm trying to identify everybody up here. New numbers, new jerseys, new faces. It's all exciting. Dave Macy is your center referee. Steve Everett? Yes. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back, Tony. It's good to see everybody here. Yes, yes. So it looks like RHI Inferno is going to get the ball first. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've been waiting nearly three years for this moment. By the way, those balls from Power Soccer Shop look fantastic. Awesome. Don't they? Yes. I mean, they're, they're super high visibility. They're actually really attractive to look at from up here, yes. I have to tell you. Yeah, great job. So we are underway. The 2022 USPSA MK Battery Conference Cup Championship Series has officially kicked off. That is a kick-in for LASC. Now, I will say, this is a wonderful story. It's, it's, a, it's a sad and tragic story, but it's wonderful at the same time. Armando Ornelas is the head coach for LASC. And we have an early scoring opportunity here. Now, on the way back from the 2019 National Championship Tournaments, his son Kyle tragically passed away on the way home. And it's a story within the U.S. power soccer community that we all know, and a very tragic and sad moment. Certainly. Yes. But here he is in 2022 with a new team carrying on his son's legacy and memory. He has brought more than one team here actually this weekend yes. to compete. Oh, and there's an opportunity for RHI Inferno, Kristen, Christina Wilson, with an early opportunity to score for RHI Inferno. But to finish that story, it's just, it's just a wonderful testament to Armando and not only his dedication to the sport, but his dedication to his son, Kyle. Yes, absolutely. It, Kyle's legacy carries on through uh, Armando's program. So. And I had the fortunate uh, you know, opportunity to play for Armando and, and Kyle being a, a former teammate of mine. So, yes, this is a, a very oh. in touching moment for all of us right now. It, it is, and it's wonderful to see them out here. LASC with a couple opportunities now. And a shot, Alexander Laro saved. Wonder, wonderful save. Scott Kemp yes. in goal for RHI Inferno. Nice shot there by Lauro. Yeah. He's got a strong kick. He's played for a little while now, so he's one of their more veterans. Uh, Chase Martinez also, um, one of the veterans of this team. Um, so um, they've, they've had some experience. And so now, now here's another new player that we have not seen at the national level yet. James Allball, is that correct? Yes. And his brother, Jaden. He is in the coal, is in the coal box. Yes. Um, yeah, James is a very skilled uh, ball handler. He's really good on the ball, good defenders, and uh, they're both very good, knowledgeable players. You could tell that they uh, they picked this sport up pretty good, so pretty quickly. So I've had great opportunity to play against them, and so. They, they definitely are the future. It's good to see the future out here, to be quite yep. honest. So a corner kick for RHI Inferno. Dana Thatch for the Inferno. The kick to Wilson. Wilson shoots. Wilson scores the first goal of the tournament. Scored by Christina Wilson. It is 1-0 RHI Inferno over LASC. Yes. That felt good, I have to say, Steve Everett. Let's see yes. if we can get a replay of that real quick. You'll see here the kick by Thatch and Christina Wilson, well done to find the open space in the LASC defense. Yeah, the keeper just left the post a little too far and just kind of left that gap. Yep, both players actually came off that post there. Yep. Kick in now for LASC. That was the first goal that... I have called <laughs> since 2019, and it felt really good, I have to say. Yeah. And you did it well, Tony. Thank you, you sir. Well. I appreciate that. Dana Thatch now going up against Chase Martinez. Now, Chase Martinez is not a new player. He's been here for a little bit. Yes. Quite a good player, by the way. Yes. Played uh, with me on the SoCal Vaquero team for many years, and, uh, yeah, um, he is he's as, as skilled as any young person is out here. That ball out of play, kick in for RHI Inferno. We have action, it looks like, on all four courts right now. And this really is wonderful to see. There is power soccer all throughout the Plasma Athletic Center going on right now. Nationals are back here. The Champions Conference teams and Premier Conference teams will be here tomorrow. And they will start competing 
tomorrow. And there's an opportunity for LASC, the pass back across. Laro with a shot saved, and that, it look, looks like referee Dave Macy wanted to call a foul, but swallowed the whistle. Now Christina Wilson sends the ball back down the floor, and that's going to go out of play. Now, that to me yeah. looked like a foul in the penalty area. Could have been called a penalty kick, but there was no foul called. Yeah. I agree with you, Tony. Uh, the, the physicality of that uh, that play right there um, deserved to be a call, I believe. Martinez now trying to kick it back out. Now Wilson is there for RHI Inferno. Now Thatch taking it back the other way up the floor. RHI Inferno on the counterattack. Martinez stops Thatch. Thatch trying to turn Martinez. Wilson waiting at the top of the goal area. Thatch trying to work that ball around. Now if you can get it up to Wilson, she's open for a pass. And that ball is out of play. Referee calls a goal kick for LASC. We are currently in the sixth minute. 1-0 RHI Inferno. And I promise this is the last time I'm going to mention it today, but I will say coming in last night and, and, and getting to the hotel and just seeing people around that you haven't seen since 2019 was a really nice thing to have. Oh, absolutely. You know, that's one of the things when you come to these events and you see these people, especially for folks like you and me who have been around the sport since the early 2010s or even earlier, some of these people we've known a long time and some of these people we haven't seen since the coronavirus pandemic. And so it was just really nice to kind of be able to see everybody and, and welcome everybody back here again. Martinez with some good defense there. He sends that out of play. And I promise that's the last time I'm going to talk about it now. <laughs> I doubt it. I may mention it one more time at the end. <laughs> That's with a kick across the box. And there's a shot. Wilson, oh, my what goodness. Jaden Alba with quite a save. Woo. That was Excuse awesome me, Jason play. Alba. Yeah. My apologies, Jason. Um, what a save by him because Wilson had him dead to rights, and he caught that off the corner of his guard. Yep, good Let's move Let's see if there. we can get that on a replay here. Oh, we're going to catch the last bit of that. But what a wonderful play by Alba, who just barely saved it. Let's see if anybody's going to catch that ball before it goes out. And it's going to be a goal kick for RHI Inferno. And it looks like we're going to get our first substitution of the match. And it looks like we're going to get Lauro coming off. And I believe that's Anthony Lopez who just came on. It is yes. Anthony Lopez who just came on for LASC. Another strong up-and-comer right here, uh, Anthony. Good player. Yeah, with your team, the Galaxy, you see these guys on a fairly regular basis. Yes. And they're, they're well coached by Ornelas. Yes, absolutely. They, 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 they understand. They work hard. And, uh, yeah, learning the nuances of the, of the game, incredibly important. And, uh, yeah, they've, they've really come together quickly. Wilson. Joe Slaby with the ball. He misses a little late on that. And a two-on-one violation called on LASC. So an indirect free kick for RHI Inferno. Ninth minute of the match. If you're just joining us, it's 1-0 RHI Inferno. Plasman starting to slowly fill with people as teams make their way into the venue. Now, teams that are competing tomorrow are already here today. Some of them already in the building. I saw a few folks. Oh, and that was a foul on Christina Wilson. That's going to be a free kick for LASC. Yep. Backed, backed into him a little bit once, once she, uh, she realized she was beat. want to thank everybody watching this Power Soccer Shop live stream. We're glad that you're here to join us this weekend. Happy to have you back. 
Hopefully you enjoy all of the coverage this weekend. Now, there is currently coverage of courts one and four. Court four to our left. Courts two and three, we're working on them right now. We hope to have coverage of all four courts this weekend. We'll keep you updated as we go along. We want to bring you as much of the action as possible. Wilson now taking this goal kick. Martinez, that ball heads across the area. Lopez with a shot. That one's going to bounce off of Martinez, who took the ball. It's out of play. Goal kick, RHI Inferno. LASC really swarming that defense right now. Yeah, they, they when they clamp down as a unit, they, they play pretty strong defense. And Chase just had a, a slight uh, angle of his chair. He was just off slightly, so that he could have put that one back in the corner of the net for sure. So while we have a moment, we're getting a couple of substitutions here. It looks like Scott Kempf is coming off, and we're getting somebody in his place. And I can't quite tell who it is. It might be Jesus Sanchez. And it looks like Xavier Burrell from uh, L.A., California, L.A., S.C. Uh, now, am I correct in saying that Xavier is currently using Kyle Ornelas' chair? Um, is that correct? I'm not sure if that is. It, I, don't re I don't recall that being his chair. I'll have to confirm <laughs> and get back to everybody later. I'll it, get back to you on that, Tony. It, it, it looks like a very I'll have my chair. people get with your people. How's That's much that? appreciated. Okay. Where's our sideline reporter? We could confirm that. They're getting breakfast right now. <laughs> Kristen Higgins for RHI Inferno. Sends the ball through. That ball bouncing and ricocheting around. Anthony Lopez with the ball. Very close to a two-on-one for LASC. Play continues, however. Yeah. And now the two-on-one is called on LASC. Indirect free kick coming up into the match for RHI Inferno. And you know, Tony, I think that the, the younger players and, and, and newer teams um, and newer players in general that spacing is always the key and I think there's just a, you know wanting to go to the ball so badly that you end up swarming and having too many people and two and one is definitely uh, an area that you know they need to work on. Lopez driving in toward the goal area Lopez with the ball again taking on Amber Winters Lopez trying to get around Wiggins now. That ball looked like it went off of Lopez. Referee Dave Macy says it's going to be an LASC kick-in. Good scoring opportunity here for LASC. How about kicking? So James Allball with the kick. That ball off of Wiggins. Burrell with the ball. Oh, that ball's going to bounce over the goal line. Xavier Burrell, I think, is going to get credited for that goal, but Kristen Wiggins punched the ball into his chair. It ricocheted and went over the goal line. Here's a replay. We'll see the kick. And you see right here the ball just bounces around. She kicks it off of Burrell, and it goes over the goal line. He will get credited with that. But my goodness, LASC with the equalizer. That's being in the right place at the right time. Though. Indeed. Now, before the tournament, you and I were talking about these teams, and you said that LASC had a very good chance of winning the entire Founders Conference tournament. Yes, I, I believe so. They got a good nucleus there. Um, I know there's going to be some good competition, and you know if they survive the adversity of being a newer team, um, I think they got as, as good a chance as any of them in the Founders uh, division here. Alba trying to take the ball through the Inferno defense. Yeah. Very sk skilled ball handler. You can see that indeed. Now we're going to get a two-on-one violation on RHI Inferno. Indirect free kick coming up for LASC. 15th minute of the match. 
LASC looking to make another substitution. And it looks like Anthony Lauro is coming back in. So on the floor for LASC, Alexander, excuse me, Alexander Lauro, Xavier Burrell, and Anthony Lopez. Lauro with the kick. Wiggins sends that one back up toward Lauro. Burrell with the ball, very close to a two on one on LASC. Burrell dragging Wiggins, tries to free that ball from her, and Wiggins just very smartly kicks it out. Although LASC gets the ball back, gives her defense a chance to set up again. Now it looks like R.A. Trianferno is going to take the ball. Burrell and Wiggins. That ball kicked out. Oh, a little confusion there. An open goal area. Lopez trying to get the ball in a good position here. And it's going to be a corner kick for LASC. Lots of pressure from the folks from California here. Yeah, they're clamping down right now. Lopez at the far post, Xavier Burrell at the near post. Corner kick, LASC. Now, here's something that you don't see very often, but LASC taking the corner kick from the bottom of the corner triangle. Well, most teams typically take it from the top corner. Yeah, that's true. Ball across. Oh, and Lopez, he had a good angle on the ball, but he just turned his chair a little too early. Didn't get the ball, or didn't get the chair in the right position on time. So no harm, no foul for RHI Inferno. And Kristen Wiggins once again will restart play for RHI. Jesus Sanchez waiting, offering support. Lopez, that ball heading over to Amber Winters. And now Sanchez with the ball gets it taken away. Alexander Lauro racing down the touchline. Out of play, smart move, by the way, by the young player. Well done yeah. to get his team a kick in from a really good spot here. Yeah, that's prime real estate where that ball's at, no doubt. You're in a good position to score at the top of the box right there. Hope the ref moves the ball in the court. <laughs> Good job. Lauro trying to find a space in that RHI defense. That ball off of his own teammate, out of play. There was space there, but he didn't quite get it. I think they were setting up an open the door kind of situation on that one. Looked like it, anyways. 19th minute of the first half. We are level at one. Xavier Burrell coming off the floor. Chase Martinez and James Albaugh coming back on for LASC. Kristen Higgins right up the touchline. Nice kick by her, but Alba took it. Martinez right into Higgins. Alba back over to Martinez. Chase Martinez now trying to work that ball through the defense. Alba with a shot that's just going to go wide and out of play for an RHI goal kick. Good movement on the pass and just uh, the results weren't there. So Steve Everett. The first half is almost up. You are a very busy man this weekend, so if you do have to go, I want to say it has been a pleasure and an honor to have you up here to join me for the very first half of this wonderful weekend that we are about to witness. Um, if you can stay, great. But otherwise, again, I just wanted to say 
that it's been great to have you up here to at least welcome all the fans and all the families back here. Well, thank you, Tony, for having, uh, having me and, uh, you know, all that you and the Power Soccer Shop does to, to make this possible so that we can live stream. It's, it's incredible for all of us. And, yeah, I'm, I'm so thrilled we're back. That's, uh, you know, that, that's the big part right there. So Martinez right there finding space. And, yes, like you said, I'm also glad that we're back. And referee Dave Macy blows the whistle for halftime. We're going to take a break. 1-1 one, one the score. We'll be back with the second half. You're watching RHI Inferno versus California LASC. We'll be back in a little bit. Uh, Nimi is a manufacturing company for 25 years. Uh, we started out of our garage uh, manufacturing products and for the industrial market as well as disabled products and outdoor products too as well. Uh, we were able to help out uh, the disabled sports uh, world by building a power wheelchair. We have developed uh, many products for the industrial market like uh, vacuum fixturing that holds down, sucks down parts using vacuum power versus using double face tape that customers would do uh, and use clamps and vices and traditional stuff like that. Um, we can do full five-sided machining uh, by using vacuum chucks and different products of ours. Strike Force has redefined uh, power soccer game, uh, giving the individual the ability to express inside of him how to play the game um, without holding back. We have built a chair, the Strike Force, to be low profile, fast, quick, um, and take over the game. The manufacturing of the Strike Force has led us into the manufacturing of the Track Force chair, which is an outdoor rugged chair built for the beach, uh, hunting uh, any outdoor enthusiast that wants to get out of his everyday chair and uh, be able to go around in his yard even.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the second half of LASC versus RHI Inferno for Power Soccer Shop. I'm Tony Jackson. And uh, once again, I want to thank U.S. Power Soccer President Steve Everett for joining us in that first half. He has gone on to other duties as he is also in charge of the event this weekend. So he has a very busy weekend ahead. We're back here in action. Now Xavier Burrell for LASC trying to hold on to the ball before it rolls out of play. Goal kick, RHI Inferno. Pretty solid first half for both teams. RHI Inferno scored first, and then LASC equalized after that. Dana Thatch for Inferno. Wilson. Alba now with the ball. Alba. Burrell. Trying to move into place. Gets the ball taken away. Dana Thatch for RHI Inferno. Good battle between these two. Thatch has the ball stripped. Nicely done by Alba. Now Wilson is there. Wilson the last to touch that ball. Kick in coming up for LASC. Now for those of you watching on court one who are looking for other games this weekend we are working on getting courts two and three live court four is currently live but court one is the only court that will have live commentary this weekend just for anybody watching now nicely done by thatch to Push that ball out of the goal area. And really well done angle right there. That's exactly where you want to get it out. As far down the floor as you can. Solid defense by RHI Inferno. And with each passing moment, more and more people are entering the Plasman Athletic Center. Burrell. Can he catch that ball before it goes out? It looks like he's going to get there. Nicely done. Good kick. Good control. Thatch now. Two on one on LASC. And that's one thing that you will see a lot of times, especially with the lesser experienced teams. It's so hard to resist going for that ball when you see it. And so you will see a lot of two-on-one violations on, especially, as I said earlier, the lesser experienced teams. Nice work there by Alba to get that ball out of play. Now, Alba and Thatch doing battle here. Jaden Alba gets trapped down there. He has to get out of there before two-on-one is called, and he does. Now Thatch heading back the other way on the counterattack for Inferno, and that ball is out of play. Kick in coming up for RHI Inferno. They're a little bit far away to get a good, clean shot on goal from here, but... Perhaps they can work the ball around the area. And we have a substitution for RHI Inferno. Joe Slaby coming back into the match. Kristen Higgins coming off the floor. RHI Inferno looking to take the lead here. Thatch and the spin into the LASC defense. Well done. They managed to hold off, and that ball slowly rolling out over the touchline. And now this is a much better angle for RHI Inferno. Christina Wilson at the top of the area, punched out by Alba, and Thatch very smartly just lets it roll out of play. Lots of pressure by the RHI attacking side here.
Thatch with a shot across Wilson. The pass back, nicely done by Albaugh to get that ball out of there. Albaugh and Thatch. Albaugh getting turned by Thatch, ball still in play. And now LASC on the attack. Wilson is there for RHI Inferno. She can't keep it in. The assistant referee says it's going to be a kick in for LASC. James Albaugh with the kick for LA. Xavier Burrell trying to run a little interference here. That ball goes behind him. Well placed ball. Back across to Burrell. Burrell with an open shot. He goes off the post. Xavier Burrell had wide open space and hit the post. Let's watch that again, ladies and gentlemen. You see Xavier Burrell just off the post. Such a close opportunity. But it's going to be a corner kick. LASC. You really have to take advantage of those opportunities when they come up because they don't come very often in a match. Alba. Oh, that goes off the back of Burrell. Can Alba save it before it goes out? Yes, he can. Christina Wilson now trying to take the ball back the other way. Alba turns her around. Alba trying to catch the ball before it heads out, and he's got the ball. Alba driving in towards the RHI defense, and nicely done by Thatch to bounce it off of Alba to get a goal kick for RHI Inferno. 27th minute. We are still level at one. Christina Wilson into Alba. Wilson gets turned around the ball off the back of her chair. And Burrell thought about taking it, but wisely let it roll out. And now let's see if LASC can score here. And Scott Kempf is leaving a lot of space behind his chair. Let's see if Alba takes advantage of that. Looks like he's going straight across here. Let's see. That space is closed off. Nicely done by Thatch. He read that one all the way. And that is going to roll out for an LASC goal kick. Well done. Nice defense again. Dana Thatch. Substitution for LASC. Coming out of the match, Jaden Alba. It looks like his brother, James, is back in. Oh, excuse me. Alexander Laro was the player that was substituted into the match. Alba, Thatch again gets the ball, but this time it goes off his chair for a kick in for LASC. Lopez at the near post. That ball off of Thatch. That ball is still in play, though. Two on one violation on LASC. 30th minute, we're still tied at one. Now we're in the group stages right now, so if this match ends in a tie, it is going to end in a tie. Each team will earn one point, and there is no overtime in the group stages. So we'll see if somebody can break this deadlock over the next 
nine and a half minutes or so. Thatch sends that ball across. It's cut off by Lopez. Thatch takes that ball and goes back the other way with it. Wilson's there, another two on one on RHI Inferno. Indirect free kick coming up. Alba tries to get around Thatch. Thatch the last to touch it. Kick in coming up for LASC, but referee Dave Macy calling a kick in for RHI Inferno. Thatch, all ball. Out of play goes the ball. That will be a kick in for RHI Inferno. It looks like Joe Slaby is going to come out of the match and coming back in for him, Kristen Higgins. Christina Wilson going to take the kick here. Nicely done by Wilson, getting it behind Lauro all the way down the floor for an LASC goal kick. Well done. Well placed kick. Lauro left a little bit of space for her, and she took full advantage of it. Oh, and some contact there. Let's see if a foul is called on that. And it looks like it's going to be called on Lopez. So that's going to be a free kick for RHI Inferno. Let's see here. Well, the ball's been set on the touch line. So it appears as though no foul has been called. Alba taking on Thatch. Thatch nicely done. And now he's trying to split the LASC defenders, but that's a two-on-one violation, so another indirect free kick coming up for RHI Inferno. Coming up on the 35th minute, no one has scored yet in the second half. Jaden Alba now in the match. So both Alba brothers as well as Alexander Laro. Higgins tried to open up the chair just a little bit to gain control of the ball, but she couldn't get it back. So another goal kick for LASC. For those of you just joining us, the Founders Conference and the President's Conference tournaments are starting today. Tomorrow, the Champions and Premier Conferences will begin. Those athletes and teams arriving today. Some of them got here yesterday. 
to get that extra day to acclimate themselves. Looking forward to bringing you all the competition this weekend. Now that's driving towards the LASC goal area. James Albaugh pushing him out. Goal kick called for LASC. Again, good defense by LA. RHI Inferno starting to get a little bit more momentum, starting to put a little more pressure on that LA defense, but LA doing a solid job holding them off. And that ball took an unfortunate bounce off of Jaden Albaugh, kicking coming up for RHI Inferno. Thatch looking to crack one across the goal area. Thatch all the way across Wilson. That ball off of Wilson. Higgins with the ball. Higgins, two on one violation on RHI Inferno. And a good scoring opportunity slips away. Alexander Lauro looking to potentially receive this ball. James Albaugh, the kick. Higgins sends the ball towards the goal area. And now a break for LASC. The pass across, and it's mishandled by Albaugh. And now that ball is out of play. Kick in coming up for LASC. Thatch in between two LA players. Now Thatch heading towards the LA goal area. Kick in coming up for RHI. Can they score here? I have to imagine with the way things have been unfolding, if RHI score here, that's going to put them in a great position to win this game because the, the offenses have struggled a little bit to get really solid scoring opportunities in this half. There have been some opportunities, but they really haven't unfolded into very much. Higgins, strong kick across the box. The shot blocked by Alba. Bounced off of Thatch and out of play. Goal kick coming up for LASC. Wonderful defense there. Good kick by Higgins. Nice touch by Thatch, trying to get around Alba. Alba got leverage on Thatch. Nice move done, nicely done there by Alba. And now LASC on the counter attack. Thatch trying to get the ball away, but he can't. These two have been going at it all game long. The pass across. Lauro, Alexander Lauro. Alba with the ball. Close to a two-on-one violation. LASC with the kick, 39th minute. Can anyone score here before the final whistle? And now a break down the floor, a chance for LASC to score a goal. Can they get there? The ball is going across, and it's a goal for LASC. Jaden Alba. In the 40th minute, with a goal, LASC up 2-1. Let's see that again, ladies and gentlemen. And you see there's a little bit of space behind Scott Kemp. Alba was able to navigate the ball through there. 2-1, LASC in the lead. We're in the 40th minute. RHI Inferno now have to score quickly. 
This match is almost over. Dave Macy, the referee, has his whistle in his mouth. Thatch with the ball off of the back of Wilson. There's the final whistle from the referee. And Jaden Alba, in the final moments of the match, scores a goal to give LASC the victory and the three points, which is very important here in the group stage. Two on the final score, LASC over RHI Inferno. We're going to take a break. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first of many games this weekend. We're happy to bring you all of them. We'll be back in a little bit. You're watching the 2022 USPSA MK Battery Conference Cup Championship Series. Trying to pass it up to Dowling, and there's the pass to Dowling. Dowling going to take a shot. Audrey Keener across to Keezer. Keezer shot in. And